stage seven rolls out from Notoresco for 181k in what is a hilly stage with a flat finale. The race follows the Adriatic coast until the first King of the Mountains, which comes at 62k in. Other things to note, the two intermediate sprint points, which come at 93k and 125k. After a series of bends and undulations, the riders will head back to the coast and follow it all the way to Termoli. Currently, Attilia Valta is in the lead for both the pink and the white jersey competitions. That's unlikely to change today due to the flat run in to the finish line. As for who will win today's stage, it's a case of which sprinters have the most energy left after what's been a very difficult first week at the Giro. all my guys there from a long way out because there was a few points in I'd say the last uh, 10 kilometers that we really need to be in the front so we don't have to to break or anything and we got a really good run and they did a, a really good job and the most important point for me I told them was the the start of the climb because uh, yeah if I got a free run through there and a good run up the climb then I save a lot of energy and if I had to come from far back and move up then it would have cost me a lot for my sprint and it was a super hard finish anyway and uh, yeah, my legs were absolutely burning in the end because I was basically sprinting from 450 meters to go and it was a slight uphill, so that was a tough one. Caleb Ewan prevailed in what was an incredibly hectic last few kilometers. David Chimelai came in second and Tim Malia was in third. We'll see you back here for stage eight of the Giro d'Italia.